What's going up everybody? Chini the Great, back again for Inktober Day 2. So, like I said, I'm not planning on making a video every single day, but I have this one ready to go. So, um, like I said, again, <laughs> I wanted to stick with a satire kind of theme, and today, October 2nd's prompt was the word tranquil. And I think when a lot of people think of the word tranquil, tran mm, nice, nice one, China. I think when a lot of people think of the word tranquil, they think of like peaceful or at ease, but I thought of the word, um, or I thought of like being tranquilized. So that's what I did in this cartoon. So um, this cartoon is much simpler than the first day, um, and they do get more simple because <laughs> I think I um, overestimated my ability and there's no way I could do 31 drawings in a row and some videos and have like the most polished works of art so they get they get pretty simple as time goes on but um this one i thought of america's need or desire to put everyone on medication it is amazing how many people like horribly amazing how many people i know that are just on so many pills and medications whether it be for pain or for the inability to sleep or maybe they're sleeping too much or they're anxious or they think too much or they don't think enough or they don't focus enough or they focus too much it's insane what everyone in this country is on pills for they're on pills for everything so i kind of want wanted to illustrate that in this drawing here where there's a line of people who are all unique and they're all happy you can see their expressions on their faces they're all smiling and their eyebrows are raised and they all seem kind of energetic, and they're all in interesting clothes. Um, and they get in line at this little with this little nurse handing out pills, as you can tell by the sign that will say pills in a second. And then they leave um, the side. The people that are leaving on the left, they're all matching clothes, not unique looking whatsoever. They all look exactly the same. So they people kind of are all unique. And a lot of the times when people are put on pills, it's for reasons because because society thinks they're not normal and they need to be like everyone else. And then they come out like zombies. So that's what I was trying to reflect in this illustration. And um, I kind of um, found a challenge really early on during this Inktober challenge that while I was sketching these things out in pencil, I really anticipated using color for some reason. And then when I was inking them, I realized I don't have any colors to use. I didn't want to go buy inks or anything, and I didn't want to buy colored ink pens, although I'm sure I could find some that are very cheap. But I just wanted to use the supplies that I had, so all I have is black pens and a white gel pen if I want to use it. So I anticipated, like, making really colorful clothes on the right-hand side on the people and, like, different skin tones and different hair colors, and then on the left they're all kind of gray and black and white. But... Um, I just used this ink pen that you see me using here, so I just drew patterns on their clothes to kind of differentiate them and make them stand out a bit. Also, I want to apologize, I am uh, doing this voiceover while my family is home and my dog is barking, so let me pause real quick. Okay, I'm sorry, I just started a new job and um, the only time I'm going to be home with some free time is when my family is too. So my mom is doing stuff and it's making my dog bark. He's still barking. I'm going to try to speak over him. And I'm really sorry if this gets on your nerves. But I have my door closed. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. But um, as you can see, all these characters here in this illustration are very simple. They're just really simple shapes. Really simple, like, their eyes are literally just dots. There's nothing too developed about these people. And that's kind of what I mentioned in the first video was that... I, I'm not very good at drawing like really interesting characters like this is if I'm gonna draw a character This is how I would draw them just very simple shapes like really just outlines nothing like they don't look I mean they're simple and they're cute, but they're not that great and I want to develop I guess a style more when I'm drawing cartoon characters like I'm, I've never been a person like really worried about developing my own art style or anything but when it comes to like drawing characters I want to have a more unique style because they all just look too simple to me. Like, again, they're cute, they're simple, they're fine, but I want to I wanna get a little bit better and uh, draw some more personality and some more interesting people. So, um, that's what I'm going to try to work on in the future. I don't know if I'm going to try that during Inktober because I already have a lot of these sketched out, so they are simple characters, but in the future, definitely. Um, 
I've actually been practicing drawing like comics and um, comic book characters, just sketches, nothing like I haven't drawn my own comic book or anything, but just like sketching along um, with things that I see in comic books to try to develop that kind of style because it's something I really enjoy, but I've never drawn anything like that. Great, now my mom has started the lawnmower, so we have a barking dog and a lawnmower going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this voiceover short and just play music. I think I've said pretty much everything I wanted to say. This is like a satirical thing about tranquilizing our society and the members of it. So let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram at ctggraffiti to see all my drawings, whether or not I make videos of them. Let me know what you think of this and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna cut this short and play some music because my family's just not, not allowing me to do this voiceover, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Thank you for watching.